Lee Westwood was the host of this year's British Masters as the tournament was held at Close House in Newcastle in the northeast of England. It's a club with which the former world number one has close connections. I think the British Masters is probably one of the most prestigious titles on the European Tour to win and uh, I'm lucky enough to have won it in the past. Um, and we've got it here to Close House, which of course I'm attached to, so uh, yeah, it's a very exciting week for me. I think the European Tour and, and Sky have come up with a fantastic idea of having uh, ambassadors, you know, uh, British players to, to promote the event. Um, Luke and, and Liam Paul to, did the first couple of years, did a great job and it was my turn this year, so very excited to be involved and, uh, you know, try to do the best I can. He described the field at this year's tournament as incredible and said he couldn't have asked for anything better. I don't know whether the, the players are playing for me or whether, you know, it's because it's the British Masters. You know, the likes of Sergio, who played in the Tour Championship last week and committed really early to playing in this event, uh, you know, so we could use him for promotion and things like that. It's great that he, because he hardly ever plays in Britain, and it's, it's great that he's come along and supported it and playing. Um, Rory playing as well is obviously massive. Um, you know, the people in the North East won't get much of a, a chance to, to see Rory that often and Sergio and, and a lot of the other players, you know, the likes of Martin Keimer and, uh, and Graham McDowell and people like that, you know, have, have supported the event and, uh, you know, I can't thank them enough. The Hero Challenge kicked off the week, quite literally, with a bang. It's an innovation that Westwood enjoys and thinks is vital to the future health of the game. A lot of golf tournaments are all the same, so it's nice to bring in something different, something maybe you know the kids can get involved with, and you know fireworks and flames and fire going on, and hopefully none of us will catch fire, and you know it attracts a different crowd. So it's at night as well, which should be exciting. It's different. You need to be innovative nowadays to get people involved in the sport. I still got it. I still got it. <laughs> Lee's enjoyed a long relationship with Close House and its journey to becoming a European tour venue. The Colt course was designed by Scott McPherson uh, quite a few years ago now and uh, uh, I came and opened it in 2010 and they asked me if I'd like to be attached to it back then and I said yeah, you know, I love the place straight away. I, I don't think Graham Wiley, the owner, can believe it that from, you know, six, seven years ago, me coming and opening the place, he's now got a, a massive European golf tournament around it so uh, it's been a real quick progression for the golf club. As you can see behind me, it's quite undulating, so um, it's going to be a good walk for, for the players and the caddies, and uh, uh, that also, you know, is one of the defences of the golf course. You know, some of the holes uh, don't aren't that long uphill, obviously, but they, they play quite a bit longer. Um, you know, the wind can blow. Uh, it's on the on the side of a hill here, so the, the weather conditions can come into it. But uh, there's some well placed bunkers out there. Um, I've added a few more tees and added a few bunkers and taken a few bunkers out, so just in preparation for the tournament. So. Um, it, it's got its defences. The greens aren't, by, aren't flat by any means. A few of them are quite undulating, so we can tuck flags away as well. So uh, uh, I think it'd be tricky. With Close House located just outside Sports Mad Newcastle, large crowds turned out. They really do sort of come out and support the event. You know, whether it be from supporting Newcastle United and Sunderland to, you know, the Great North Run. Uh, the transplant games are in a couple of years' time and. Uh, um, you know, they really do get, get behind the, the sporting events up here, so, uh, you know, I'm expecting big crowds of them to get right behind the players. He wasn't disappointed, and neither were the fans, as Paul Dunn claimed victory in style to round off a hugely successful tournament. And he received his first European Tour trophy from Westwood himself.